Disgusting, depressing, cruel, heartbreaking, and absolutely unwatchable. Those are just some of the viewers' reactions to Anna de Armas's new fictionalized Marilyn Monroe biopic. While Blonde shows the icon and some of her real lovers, Audiences have criticised its unrelentingly bleak and graphic portrayal of Monroe's experiences of rape, sexual assault and domestic abuse. The movie is loosely based on a novel by Joyce Carol Oates and does not claim to be historically accurate. But viewers have been left wondering just how based in truth some of the movie's most shocking scenes are. Here we set out to explain. Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. The most notorious scene from Blonde shows her being raped by JFK after being dragged into his hotel room by Secret Service agents. In the early 60s, rumours were rife of an affair between the President and Monroe. Since their deaths, various biographies have apparently confirmed the flick. Perhaps most reliable is testimony from her Monsieur Ralph Roberts, who says that JFK and Monroe slept together only once at Bing Crosby's house on March 24th, 1962. He says the so-called affair was just a one-night stand, adding, Marilyn gave me the impression that it was not a major event for either of them. It happened once, that weekend, and that was that. Actress Susan Strasberg also claimed that the pair slept together on that night. She said, Marilyn loved the secrecy and drama of it, but Kennedy was not the kind of man that she wanted to spend her life with. Most accounts claim that JFK and Monroe only met four times, but some claim a fling started in 1954. Around two months after the alleged one-night stand, Monroe famously sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President to Kennedy at a Democrat rally in May 1962. One photo of Monroe and JFK together exists, and it shows them just hours after this rally. It shows JFK, Monroe, and Bobby Kennedy, who Monroe is also alleged to have had an affair with, after the end of her fling with JFK. Three months after this photo was taken, Monroe was dead, and JFK would be assassinated just a year later. Blonde shows a character based on baseball legend Joe DiMaggio beating Monroe after her famous subway great scene in The Seven Year Itch. In the movie, Monroe stands over the grate as a passing subway train creates a rush of air that blows up her skirt. It's one of her most famous scenes and she was in fact married to DiMaggio at the time. The pair had a tempestuous nine month marriage and he allegedly tried to control her career. DiMaggio got into a fight with the film's director and has been accused of hitting Monroe at least once. In Blonde, a young Marilyn has a three-way relationship with Charlie Chaplin Jr. and Edward Robinson Jr. And in reality, she did have a fling with Chaplin, who mentioned it in his biography. Rumours also claim that she dated Robinson after the end of her relationship with Chaplin. But there's no evidence that the trio were romantically involved at the same time. The darkest scenes in Blonde shows a movie producer known as Mr. Z raping Monroe on the casting couch. The character is based on the head of 20th Century Fox, Daryl Zanuck, who is alleged to have been a Harvey Weinstein type figure who sexually assaulted his stars. Monroe told friends about many casting couch encounters during her career, although never mentioned Zanuck by name. But it seems safe to assume that he was part of her experience with the dark underbelly of Hollywood. Blonde shows Monroe's mother attempting to drown her before being committed to a mental institution. And this part of the movie is largely accurate. Her mother, Gladys Baker, had a mental breakdown in 1934 after being diagnosed with schizophrenia. She was then in and out of mental institutions for the rest of her life. Monroe was raised by a collection of her mother's friends and relatives, and at one point she went into an orphanage. So while Blonde may be unremittingly bleak, at least some of its harrowing portrayals are based in fact. Thanks for watching and please make sure to click subscribe for more videos like this.